Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over the uh, Becca Grade 3 Bible Curriculum. Now this I've purchased as a kit. It does come with a CD, but my daughter has it already. Um, it's a Sing Unto the Lord CD. It's this one right here. Now I purchased the one for parent-led, so this here is going to walk me through the curriculum that I need to do along with the flash of cards. So it came with 13 different flash of cards and in each booklet, it has a different amount of lessons. So for instance, Salvation Series comes with five lessons and 36 pictures. So let me go ahead and start off by showing you guys which ones they came with. I'll put this aside. Okay, so for this, the first um, flash of card series we're gonna do is Salvation Series. Life of Samuel, Young David, David in Hiding, Elijah, Elisha. The next set here is First Christmas and First Thanksgiving, Daniel, Ezra and Nehemiah, Esther, Crucifixion and Resurrection, Parables of Jesus Series 1, and then Parables of Jesus Series 2. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you guys the Bible 3 um, curriculum. So if you open it up here, let's see. So you're going to open it up to the scope and sequence, and it's just going to walk you through how many months, what you're going to be doing during those months and weeks. Okay, so for instance, they start in September and it ends in May. That can change with your homeschool. This is just kind of a guide if you want to go with it. Um, so for the first and second week, they're going to be working on Salvation Series. Um, for week one, it's going to be lessons one through three. They're going to be memorizing Hebrews 11, 7 through 10, and then the hymns and patriotic songs they're going to be singing is Onward, Christian Soldiers, and that's going to be lesson one through three. Um, the chorus is, is This Little Light, and this is one through three as well. So moving on to week two, it's showing you that they are going to be working on Salvation Series again for lessons four and five. Hebrews 11, one through six, is going to be their memory, um, their scripture memory. They're gonna be still working on the Onward Christian and deep and wide. So that is just like a rundown of what they're gonna be using for what months, okay? The next couple pages here is just a note to you um, about leading your children to Christ. Starting here, we have tips for teaching. Bible. So you want to read through all this because it's it's really good to read before you get started. Here is their Bible time schedule. So they kind of break down how they do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. Um, and then their daily schedule. So Bible time each day for patriotism, songs, memory verses, Bible doctrinal truths, prayer, Bible lessons. So it gives you an amount of time that they suggest you working on them with. And then here it's just going to break down different time explanations for you. They break it all down and then they show you how to grade. Um, let's see here. Prayer, Bible lessons, Bible review and application sheets, the sword, sword drill. <laughs> Sorry. And then who am I? So this looks like it's going to be something that you're going to need throughout the year. And you're going to want to, they're going to guide you on when to go back to this, but they are going to have you ask your child, like for instance, number one, okay, is I was given back to the Lord at a young age. I was a prophet and judge. I anointed two kings of Israel. So you're going to want to get to where your child knows that that is Samuel. So they're going to have you use this um, throughout the year to go back to. So here, starting with our lesson one through five, this is our weekly overview. So you wanna read this before the week starts, maybe when you do your planning. Let me zoom in a little bit here if I can. Um, I hope that's good enough for you guys. So it just gives you like an overview of things you need to know having to do with each part of your Bible study or Bible lesson. 
Okay, same thing here. Um, so starting with lesson one, up here on the right, you're gonna see different icons that they give you throughout this lesson plan book, just to kind of give you an idea of what it is. So this little notepad here is teaching tips. The star is enrichment ideas. And the little I with the circle around it is the lesson introduction idea. Okay, so first off, you're gonna start with the pledge and that should take about a minute. You're gonna teach your child to stand straight with right hand over their heart. Review words of the pledge with child as needed before saying it together. And then the next thing you're gonna do is the songs. So if you have the songs, this is gonna take about two to three minutes and you're gonna sing America the Beautiful. They also have a book that has the words in it that you can purchase and it just tells you what page to go to and what track to turn to on your CD. Um, review song from second grade and then explain the meaning of unfamiliar words. Amber is gold colored. Fruited is growing plants useful to man and animals. Okay, so you're just going to read these notes here. Um, doctrinal truths is about two minutes long. The Bible, teach important doctrinal truths about the Bible. So you can always have your child open up their Bible to these verses. So you ask your child, can you wanna to turn to John 5, 39? And then you guys could read because God loved us and wants us to know him, God wrote the Bible. And then here it just says, ask questions about the Bible, who wrote the Bible, how did God write the Bible, and is all the Bible true, every word. And then it says to do prayer for two to three minutes. The prayer is parent-led. It kind of gives you an idea of what you should have them do. Um, next, they say to do another song. It's about one minute, and this is This Little Light of Mine. Review the song from K-5. So this was taught to them in K-5 if your child was in K-5 with them. Um, and then it tells us to read Matthew 5, 14 through 16 to child before singing the song. And then C, sing unto the Lord, page 19, for suggested motions. So it'll give you different motions that you can use while singing that song to your, with your child. Verses for two to three minutes, they want you to review Hebrew 11, one through six, and they want you to do it four times with your child. Um, song, again, you're gonna have a minute of that. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills, and then it kind of walks you through what you should talk to them about. Here is the Bible lesson. It says it's about 12 to 15 minutes. The note here to you is Bible lessons are visualized in the Abeka Flash a Card Bible Story series. Begin Salvation series. Teach Heaven a Beautiful Home. And then they tell you what pictures to use for what lesson. And then you read to them, have you ever wondered what heaven is like? Have you ever wondered what it will be like in heaven? Have you ever wondered what will be in heaven, who will be in heaven, and what we will do in heaven? I have thought about those things. Let's look at some of the things that the Bible tells about the wonderful place called heaven. Many lessons will naturally lend themselves to ending with prayer. Encourage child to talk to God silently as you talk to him aloud. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Salvation Series flash a card. And at the front of it, you're gonna have pictures. So at the bottom it says SS11, okay? So you know that this is part of the lesson because it says SS11 um, one through 110. So these are some of the pictures that you're gonna use. Let me see if I could zone out or zoom out, zone out, oh man. Okay, so here are some of the pictures. I'm sorry if it's cutting off some of it. And these are what you're gonna be teaching throughout the lesson. But these are what you're going to use as you are reading the lesson to them. And I'll show you guys that in a second. So this is um, 110. So this is where you would end with lesson one. But these are more of the photos. Let me show you our paintings, artwork that you use along with the lessons. 
So they have the pictures in the front and pictures in the back. For me, I am taking this apart and I will be using the booklet separate from these. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I will be doing a video of it. Um, so this is the Salvation series. Like I mentioned, I'm sorry about how dark it is and the shadows now. It's getting dark where I'm at. Um, so here it's just talking about leading your children to Christ, just like it said in the manual. And right here, we're going to start with lesson one, heaven, a beautiful home. While you are reading this section here, you are going to show this picture to them. So this is what they're going to be looking at while you read the lesson to them. So the city four square, the Bible tells us about a wonderful city called heaven where God lives. It's a real place, just as real as where you live. We know this because God tells us about this wonderful city in the Bible. God hath prepared for them a city. Hebrew eleven sixteen. So this is what you would read and you would continue all the way. This is all lesson one. It tells you up here at the top, lesson one. So then this is still lesson one. This is the last lesson from lesson one. And then here it's going to start lesson two. Um, so, so if you're looking back at the lesson, you're going to end at 110 and this is 110 here. Okay. Um, so the last thing you're going to do is you're going to sing deep and wide. Okay. And then that would be the end of lesson one. And then you would continue over to lesson two on day two. So then you would go from your, your guide here, and then this is the actual lesson that you would be um, reading to your child about. So I'm just going to flip through the rest of this so you can see. Oops. It makes it so much easier for you to be able to teach your child um, having these guides here. So here are your review questions. So when it asks in the lesson book to do your review, this is where you go. Once it's time to do your review, let's go ahead and look it up in our lesson guide here. So let's see. Okay, so you're gonna get through lesson two and you're gonna get through lesson three. And then they want you to review Heaven, A Beautiful Home. Okay, so that is when you would come here and you would review lesson one, heaven, a beautiful home. Okay, so that's when you would ask these questions. And it continues up until lesson five through here. And then here are the other photos or pictures. They're not photos, you guys. They're pictures, illustrations um, that go along with the lesson. Okay, so that is through Salvation Series. Now also, in your lesson plan book, so I've noticed in the back of this book, it's review and application sheets. So they are going to have to answer questions for grade three. Um, so this would be starting at lesson 22. So in this beginning part here, where it shows our lessons, I'm gonna to go to lesson 22. That's lesson 21. And then we have lesson 22. So it's going to tell us here, complete review and application sheet for the life of Samuel. So that is going to be this here, Samuel. This is the um, application sheet the review and application sheet. So it's going to tell you, they have three pages here. It tells them what page they're on. So page two, page three, page four. So they have four pages of review for Bible. 
And then this one's gonna be for David, and it again will tell you the lesson number on the bottom here. So if you flip through theirs, these are all of theirs here. You know what, you may wanna, So let me just flip through a little bit here. So each flash of card set, you're gonna have the review. So this is Elijah, Elijah. I have to try to pronounce that the correct way. We have Daniel. Um, they get to write their favorite verse. So this is Ezra and Nehemiah. So it says, um, this is a true or false question here, or questions. King Darius sent the Jews to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. They would mark true or false. Um, short answer, read each question carefully and write your answer in the blank. Before traveling to Jerusalem and beginning the work, what did both Ezra and Nehemiah do? Um, let's see here. something to think about. Um, walls of protection. What are some things that will help you build up walls of protection in your life? Write your answers in the stones below. So they would fill this out. This one's Esther. We have parables of Jesus. And then more parables of Jesus. Okay, so here's something to think about. In the parable of the talents, each man was given a different number of talents. Two were faithful in investing their talents and one was not. The two who invested the talents had more to give back to the master when he returned. In the parable, talents refer to money. For us today, a talent is a gift or ability given to us by God. God gives us a variety of gifts to serve him. It honors God when we develop the talents he has given us and use those talents for him. For example, you may be taking music lessons now, but someday you may play an instrument or sing a song in church. You may have the ability to meet new people and to make them feel welcome in your Sunday school class. God may use you to greet visitors and to make them feel welcome in church. What do you enjoy doing now? What are ways God could use your talents in the future? So these are just things for them to think about, basically, you know. Um, building character and stuff. Now this section is our teacher key. So all of our answers are here. This is where we would check all of their work. And I think, I think that's it. Yep, yeah. that is it for the curriculum that I wanted to show you. Now I will flip through some of these flash of cards. So here's the life of Samuel.
guys. So that is it for this Bible curriculum for third grade. I hope that you guys got some insight on what these Flasha books are and how the Bible curriculum works with the lesson plans. Um, if you guys are interested at all in seeing curriculum for first, second, sixth, um, grade through Abeka, I have playlists on my channel. I also will be posting all of our third grade picks, um, flip throughs and choices, and then also our seventh grade. So stay tuned for that. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like, and the notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime I have a new upload. So you guys be safe and be blessed always.